I need a man. But I'd like to know, in this dating world for people like over 50, like, have men just kind of given up with the trying to date and the, the courting and, the, and all that? Is it so bad out there, like, that you guys have just given up? I feel like men, they could have all the signs and women hinting and saying stuff and they're still like, they just stare. I don't know, it's just so different. I feel like men don't really, a lot of men don't see the signs or they don't take that approach. Maybe because of the rejection. Okay, I have a question for men. Why don't you guys approach us in public? It's so frustrating. Like I just went to Lowe's and I was walking around grabbing some supplies for my move. And I made eye contact with like three different guys. I was smiling, I was just like doing my thing and nobody came up to me. They almost seemed like annoyed that I was looking at them. It's just such a weird world we're in. I guess everyone uses online dating apps, but if you guys would just like approach a girl, I'm telling you 99% of women would love it. Like all you have to say is like, you know, oh, I love your shoes or, you know, do you need help with this or literally anything and you'll be able to tell right away if she's like vibing with you or if she's into you or if she's not interested and has a boyfriend like she'll probably just like be a little bit more shy and walk away or something you hear this but if you have a good man in your life hold on to him and what i mean by a good man is not a man who's perfect a man who is hardworking and willing to do anything to make you happy. What happened to men pursuing girls? When was the pivotal moment that a man chose to not go after a girl anymore or put in any effort? It seems like guys can just put the bare minimum and not even really put in effort anymore. They don't really care to. Or they're like, why don't girls just go and make the first move and make the effort? When did it become a thing? Now it's like role reversal where they expect girls to be making the first moves, yearning for a guy and chasing him. That is, I feel like, the downfall of why it's so hard to meet someone because men don't put in effort anymore or don't care to put in effort. And a relationship won't work unless the guy likes the girl just a tiny little bit more. He's got, he has to like her just the tiniest bit more for it to work in the long haul. So it would make sense if a guy really wanted to get to know you that he would go leaps and bounds to get to know you. And when did that shift? Because back... Single men. Um, specifically, like, blue-collared single men. When are you guys grocery shopping? Is it Sundays? Um, I just need to know, I need to know when my chances are better at meeting the love of the second half of my life in the produce section. That's all. One, I want to be there. <laughs> and then two, I also want to like make sure I put in a little, little more effort than, um, than I currently do on Sundays. So. I need a man. Yep. I need a man. <laughs> I had to call my daddy today and ask him to help me with some money to pay my bills. I need a man so I don't have to call my daddy to pay my bills. My man I already have it handled. need to start making the first move if anyone wants to be in a relationship that's absolutely what has to happen it just has to happen guys in the comments back me up on this we have told men for years that their masculinity is toxic some men as they got interested in dating that's literally all they know is to stay away from women is to not bother them and definitely don't approach them so there is nothing wrong with a woman approaching a man that shows confidence and you know what i don't even know if this stat is true i didn't do much research into this but i, I did see that 86 percent of women who make the first move end up married men don't approach women anymore so historically women have always waited for men to make the first move is he gonna go in for the kiss? Is he gonna hold my hand? But now, whenever I talk to my friends about their dating history, all I hear them talking about is, oh, he hasn't made a move, he's not doing anything, we're not moving forward. So on the flip side of this, this normally ends up in men feeling like they're getting ghosted 
or that there's just being told there's no spark. And from what I'm hearing from a lot of my clients, it's not because that you're not attracted to her. It's more about fearing that you're either going to get rejected, maybe you're going to get turned down, you know, slapped in the face when you go for that first move, or even worse, like getting in trouble with the law. So you need to ask yourself, does this sound like you? The truth is you probably missed that golden opportunity to create that spark. And she likely was giving you signals that you just didn't quite catch. Men stopped pursuing women because us ladies told them to stop. We complained every single time a man has approached us. We have done things like give him our boyfriend's number or yell at him or overall show that we're bothered by him approaching. And a lot of men want to respect our boundaries, want us to feel comfortable. So for the majority of men, the potential of making us uncomfortable is not worth it to them. So they're not going to even bother approaching us. Men also don't want to pursue us if we're not going to make any effort in return. At that point, it's just a waste of time and he could spend that time pursuing his hobbies or building his career. Have we reached a point in society where men cannot even talk to women, look at women or, you know, give a woman a compliment uh, in person these days without fear of being shut down, of being accused of something or, or something else um, negative? You know, it seems like a lot of men that I've spoken to, a lot of comments that I receive, you know, say that as a man, you know, many men are, are fearful of even looking at a woman in public in case she you know gets offended or in case she accuses him of something or something like that and you know this just this week I received a compliment from a man in person um, at school drop-off time <laughs> and um, I could tell he was all nervous like as he walked my way I don't didn't know what he was going to do but um, it was a simple compliment and and then he apologized and it was you know very interesting to witness this conversation even though I was a part of it to watch his you know demeanor and his behavior of you know how he was sort of feeling uncomfortable in the situation and when I said thank you and just received the compliment I could tell that he instantly relaxed all right YouTube thank you so much for coming back to my channel in today's episode we have these women complaining about men not approaching them in public so I am going to delve into these videos one by one and let's start with this woman. You know, it's funny because this woman thinks that men don't see all the hints and signs that women send them. I think men see all the signs, the gents don't mind. They just ignore the signs because they don't want to get embarrassed. Because some women will give you all the hints, the signs, you approach her and she will still embarrass you. Like men are just saving themselves from the embarrassment and all the insults and the disrespect. They are just respecting themselves. They know the signs, they see them, they are just ignoring them. So Simple as that. This woman doesn't sound like someone who needs a life partner. She sounds like someone who needs a second father. She wants someone to pay her bills. So if you are going for her, just make sure you get ready because you, you will have a lot on your plates. Simple. Women are very complicated and confusing because just recently I came across a video where this guy approached a woman at the mall. He was offering to help her pack her things into her car and this woman was complaining. She called him a creep, a weirdo for offering to help her. And now this woman here is complaining that men refused to approach her or even refused to even look at her twice at the mall or whatever. What do women want? They do it to call them creeps. They don't do it to call them whatever. Like, it doesn't really make any sense to me. Now, men, let me know in the comment section. Do you want women to approach you in public? Do you think it is comfortable? Are you cool with that? Do you think it will work out? Do you think women are capable of doing that? Let me know in the comment section. Let's get interactive and please if you haven't subscribed to this channel make sure you hit that subscribe button like this video for me and I hope to see you in my next video. Please stay safe out there. Bye.